Right, get down you, bloody twoodle. Um, right folks, back. Oh, you probably just see me an hour, uh, yes time yesterday, whatever. Um, I'm back folks with a review. Um, now, I've just actually done uh, Bachelor's Meat Free uh, Noodles and Mac and Cheese and Rice. Um, that should have been out the other day. Uh, I took myself up the Asda the other day. June didn't want it up the Asda, so I took it myself. And um, very nice it was too. Very nice. And uh, as I was walking around uh, up the Asda, um, I found some plant-based uh, cookies and some plant-based muffins. Now, if you want to be plant-based, that's fine by me. I personally won't be going plant-based. But when all said and done, uh, people who watch my videos do like to know about these kind of things. So I am obliged, not obliged, but it's just, you know, fucking live in a world of harmony. If you want to do this, do this. Uh, so I think they were one pound each. I did have the receipt, but I've been the receipt and the bin's in the bin wheelie bin and I'm not going through that getting covered in shit just so you lot can find not that we shit in the bin we don't actually shit in our kitchen bin but you know what I mean so what I've decided to do I picked a, a packet of these up in fact I better do a, a thumbnail is that in there? is that in focus no oh, whatever you get the gist a twoodle. Now, for rather large cookies, I'll do this for Wanda. M I C K E Y M O U S E. Um, fuck's sake. Um, so, what is it? It's a plant based cookie. Now, June, my dear sweetheart of a wife, she actually cooked a chocolate cake once without, um, I don't think there was any egg in it. I think that was plant based. Um, it was whatever it was and oil and stuff. Um, so fortified wheat flour, uh, sugar, palm oil. Palm oil, is that where we're knocking all the trees down and the orangutans are going fucking mad? Because they're cutting their homes down. If that's the case, then what is the fucking point of this? Um, dark chocolate chunks, cocoa mass, uh, emu elsiflia, whatever the fuck that is, soya, lecturins, flavouring, glucose, fructose, syrup, rapeseed, oil, raisin agents, hum, hum, humcant, what the fucking hell's all that? Still in a cool dry place. Right, let's tuck in. Fucking hell, they're nice. My battery light's flashing. I'll go with it and then I'll change it when it runs out. Fucking hell. Right. I can honestly say this is banging. This is shit hot. This is really, really good. It's got a nice. Can you hear that? A hardish outing. But inside, it's really gooey kind of proper cookie kind of thing. That it's absolutely the dogs. That is fucking fabulous. Well done. It may also contain nuts, egg, milk, rye, 
barley, oats, spelt and carmut, which defeats the uh, defeats the which defeats the object of it being plant based because surely um, there shouldn't be none of that in it. But I suppose it's a bit like I've I've cleaned machines down, I've cleaned the plant down, and um, it has not me personally because I was fucking good at my job. I used to clean the plant down, so it was like brand new. Um, but sometimes I suppose. In a blender's uh, blades, sometimes stuff gets left on and it might be there. Um, but that was really, really good. If you are a vegan or a, a veggie or whatever new words coming out for not eating anything to do with animal products, because there's bound to be another new word, isn't there soon? There'll be, there'll be another one. There'll be another pronoun or something that I'm called such and such. <laughs> Meat free Betty or something like that. I ain't got a fucking clue. Um, put that in there so I know I've got to charge that up in a minute. Um, so yeah, really, really good. I, in fact, if I was going to buy a cookie now and it was a choice between one of those with the fucking Smarties all over it, with the broken Smarties or that, I'd go for that because I'm not a fan of them ones with the Smarties on. I think they're a bit odd. I don't think there's much flavour in them, but that was absolutely outstanding wanding. You, what are you doing? You can't have any because it's a chocolate. Now, moving on to the plant-based two chocolate muffins. It's a muffin. There you go, Chris. That's a fucking muffin. Not a cob, not a roll, not a bap. A muffin. <sighs> right, what have we got in this then? Uh, fortified wheat, Flour, calcium, carbonated, carbonation, iron, what, well, like as in iron brew, uh, nicene, thymine, come on, Eileen, uh, sugar, rapeseed oil, water, dark chocolate chips, cocoa, mass, bloody fucking blah. Uh, once again, it might also contain nuts, egg, milk, right? All that stuff where if you haven't cleaned the blender out properly. So, it's in a nice piece of paper, grease-proof paper. It looks like your average cookie, uh, your muffin, I mean. There you go, let me see, can you see it? There it is, can you see it? For the visually impaired, it looks like a fucking muffin. It's got little chocolate bits on the top. Hmm. Let's tuck in. Did I say let's tuck in for the first one? Can't remember. Get down to it all, it's chocolate, and you can't have none, or else it will kill you. Now what you done? Like a fucking electric shock sometimes. Um, it's a little bit dry. But it's all right. You know what it needs? It needs one of them runny, gooey bits in the middle. <laughs> Shut up! Um, he'll look out the window, the dog, and he'll sit a squirrel sitting on the lawn eating his nuts. And he goes absolutely loopy. So now, anytime he hears things, he thinks it's a fucking squirrel outside eating his nuts. You're angry, aren't you? Because he's eating your nuts. Yeah, dead right. It's a little bit dry. But it ain't too bad. I've had worse muffin um, in my life. This ain't too bad. It's got that muffin stodginess. It's just a shame. It's just that little bit <clears throat> too dry. But apart from that, it's not an overpowering taste. It's not an overpowering taste of chocolate. It's a nice, 
hint of chocolate. I don't normally give things marks out of tens because I think it's a bit shit. Um, but I'd give this a good seven and a half out of ten because the effort's there and it does taste pretty good. It's just that little bit of dryness that you don't normally get with a muffin. In fact, I'll tell you what I'd do with that. Warm it up and have it with a bit of custard or, um, oh, for fuck's sake. Just one second. I'm watching you, leave it. I've had an idea. Now, me and the June Junie, we love a scone or a scone, whichever part of the country you're from, or from. Um, and we have clotted cream, jam, warm the scone, scone up, and everybody's happy. Me and June will sit there, chomping away. So, here, oh, but then that's defeating the object of it being meat free, isn't it? Or plant-based. Anyway, with a bit of, Rodders. Have you ever had that? Rodders cream. Oh, it's fucking brilliant stuff. Absolutely fabulous. And this is it. This is going to make it perfect. Oh. Mmm. Oh. It just needed it just needed that little bit more to make it yes so buy one of them buy, buy some of your plant based custard or your plant based cream or your plant based whatever you fucking there yeah, put these bloody chili nuggets chili noodles on it um and that's a good one. It's just lacking that little thing, that little one bit to make it, you know what I mean? Um, so obviously you won't be able to use clotted cream, but surely there's gotta be something out there that's vegan based uh, to just put some custard or something on it. Yeah. All right, folks, I'll leave that one there. Laters.